Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is EPR Originals and today, 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 we're paying off an elephant. Before we get into the graphics, that graphs, which is what we usually do next, I have a little bit of a confession to make. Guys, oh my gosh, guys, I goofed, I goofed up. I forgot to make my extra payment. My $40 minimum payment comes out automatically, so a payment was made. So no late fees, nothing like that. But I forgot to make my extra payment. And granted, and because there's, my balance was so low, I don't believe that it, it didn't affect what I paid in interest except for a few cents. So it's not that big of a deal, but I just feel kind of bad because I goofed. I goofed. But you know what? At least I admit I goofed. I didn't make up numbers and make it look like it's something that it's not. So I goofed. That's what that's, that just happens. I've been busy since the end of sept to end of August, and think life is still a little hectic for me right now. But things should be calming down a little in a little bit. So here is my chart. So as I already told you, I only made my forty dollar minimum payment. I didn't make my extra payment because I goofed. I feel so bad that I goofed, but I can't dwell on that. I can't go back and change the past. It is what it is. I only paid a dollar eighty-five cents in interest, so that extra payment would have shaved a few cents off. In the long run, a few cents isn't going to make a difference to me. But I'm still sad that I goofed and I messed up. I got this far in and I messed up. And because I also know my life is going to be hectic. I went ahead and made a $38 payment, which is the $24 from this month, plus $14, which is what I think I had from last month, because I also could not find how much it was from last month. I think it was $14. I don't know. I goofed again. And um, I know my life is still going to be hectic, so I went ahead and did that. I usually don't make that payment until after I film this, but I went ahead and did it, just so I wouldn't forget. So... I'm going to have $40 minimum payment. I'm going to have my $38 extra payment. That's $78 to pay off, which is going to make this about, I'm doing math in my head really quickly. So it's going to be about $26 plus interest. Is that right? Is it $26 plus interest? Yeah, I think that's right. So somewhere in the 20, so that's going to be less than my $40 min, and, uh, minimum payment left. Um, I didn't do my um, months this time. I forgot to look at that when I was looking. But we know that my October payment is going to be the last one, which is actually going to be, October payment is actually going to be the beginning of November. That's going to be my last payment. It's going to be done. Bye-bye, elephant. Bye-bye. So let's look at. Our other car charts, Oop, we're going in the right direction. You know, I should be under a hundred dollars this time, but I goofed, I goofed, I goofed. I know I keep dwelling on it, and I also know I can't go back and change things, but it's okay. Long run, it's okay. And again, amount of interest I pay each month keeps going down. Probably should have gone down a little bit more. I don't know that we would have noticed a difference on this chart, but it's okay. It's all good. So this is the point at which I either talk about something I do in my budgeting behind the scenes or tell you a story or something like that. Well, this time I have a question for you guys. Because my balance is going to be less than the $40 minimum payment after I make these payments this time, what do I do with my ones? I'm not sure what I want to do with my ones for the month of October. I need to figure that out probably sometime today because I'm going to do my preview for October. For film that a little bit later on today um i don't know i don't know that i necessarily need to know what i'm going to do with those ones beforehand i don't know i'm just pondering y'all guys hear me think out loud here but going forward what should i do with my ones should i just roll them over into my general savings challenges like all my other leftover money or should I save those ones separately for another something else specific savings challenge? I don't know. 
if you have any opinions on that, just leave them in uh, the comments below and let me know what you think, what your feelings are on that. Maybe you can help guide me and figure out what I want to do. And now, and now for a little bit of self-promotion. Ha ha, this is not a little guy I crocheted. This is one I just happened to find a graphic of. And I believe I probably could make him if I could find a pattern. Or if I could find a better picture, I could probably figure out how to hack him. Because I know with my basic crochet knowledge, um, I know how to make some of these shapes. Some of these shapes I might need a little bit of guidance on. Or some of these little shapes might be trial and error. But I thought he was cute and appropriate because he is an elephant. And I was going to promote my Etsy shop for my crochet items, which I need to refurbish. But I will refurbish first of November at the latest. So if you want, check out the, uh, my Etsy shop for my crochet items. I don't list anything I haven't already made because I don't want to feel pressure to make things because I feel like I don't do as good of a job if I'm feeling pressure to make them. So check out my Etsy shop below. And also I have linked in the description box below um, my Pay Hip Savings Challenge shop, which I will, I will probably before this post, I will have uh, uploaded some more savings challenges for you to download uh, if you're if you're interested. So um, yeah, so check that out if you'd like. Uh, that's a Pay Hip Savings Challenge shop for EPR Originals. That's me. Yay! I feel like I'm talking in circles. I think I tend to talk in circles. Anyway, because I'm getting long winded, you know what? It's time to say goodbye. So. Thank you guys for joining me. And like any other YouTube channel, you can like, subscribe, share, all those wonderful things. Bye-bye, and see you guys next time.